The Queen is expected to celebrate her first Christmas since the death of Prince Philip at her Sandringham estate surrounded by close family. Prince William and Kate Middleton are likely to join Her Majesty in the festive period however Harry and Meghan are thought to be preparing for Christmas as a family of four in Montecito, California. The Sussexes will be enjoying their first Christmas since they welcomed the daughter Lilibet in June. In recent months royal watchers have widely speculated as to whether Lilibet would be christened in the UK, just like her older brother Archie's Windsor Castle christening two years ago. While some commentators had suggested the Christmas period may see the Sussexes return to the UK to christen their daughter and introduce her to the family, expert Russell Myers claimed this was unlikely. Speaking on the podcast in October, Mr Myers said, I would have thought, if they were going to do it in the UK that it would be a great opportunity to come over, be christened in the UK and see the family at Christmas. It doesn't look like that is going to happen. It doesn't look like they will be here for Christmas. Again things may change, I know there have been certain discussions about whether the family had certain views as to whether Lilibet should be christened over in the United Kingdom. Harry returned to the UK twice this year, for the funeral of his grandfather Prince Philip in April and to unveil a statue of his late mother Princess Diana in July. Meanwhile Meghan has not returned to the UK since the Sussexes dramatically quit the royal family last year. Mr Myers added, who knows when they'll be making their next trip here. Will it be the christening? Will it be for Christmas? I don't think it will be this year but anything can happen. Despite the tension between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family since Harry and Meghan left the firm, Her Majesty is still likely to send a gift to her great-grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. Earlier this year, the Duke of Sussex revealed that the Queen had sent Archie a waffle maker for Christmas in 2020. During an appearance on The Late Late Show, Prince Harry told James Corden, Interestingly, my grandmother asked us what Archie wanted for Christmas and Meg said a waffle maker. Meg makes up a beautiful organic mix, in the waffle maker, flip it, out it comes, he loves it. Archie literally wakes up in the morning and says waffle. Last week royal expert Katie Nichol claimed that Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, would also send gifts to their niece and nephew, despite the Cambridge's tension with the Sussexes. Speaking to OK. Ms Nichol stressed that William and Kate wanted to keep their Christmas traditions going after a tumultuous year in the royal family. When asked whether Archie and Lilibet would be receiving presents from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Ms Nichol said, yes, of course. They give gifts to the whole family and that includes all their nieces and nephews. That said, neither the Queen nor William and Kate have met Lilibet, who was born in Santa Barbara in July. The Queen is still going ahead with her Christmas plans, despite the surge of Omicron cases, it has been reported. Her Majesty, 95, will host an evening with wine crackers and a feast inside the castle with extended family, before going to Sandringham, Norfolk, for Christmas itself, it is said. The monarch's plans to host Christmas Day at Sandringham before going to St Magdalen Church are also reported to go ahead. A source told, currently it is going ahead but obviously it will be under review right up until the last moment. The party has reportedly been moved from Buckingham Palace to Windsor where the Queen currently resides. An insider has told the Sun that the Queen doesn't want anything to get in the way of such an important family event. They added, it will likely be the first time so many family members have been together since Philip's funeral. But obviously everyone must act responsibly and things can change in a short period of time but as it stands they're all set for Tuesday. It is understood that three of her four newest great-grandchildren, August, Lucas and Sienna, are expected to be at the party. The Queen will then go to Sandringham via helicopter for Christmas. She has already recorded her Christmas Day tele-address after ITV cameras went to Windsor Castle several weeks ago.